we're going to go out to the moon and then we're going to go on to Mars, we're going to go on to asteroids, we're going to go, you know, into space to stay. We're in our Mixed Reality Studio today to give you the big picture on NASA's next endeavor into deep space. We're with Marshall Smith. He is the director of human lunar exploration programs at NASA, and he's going to tell us all about Artemis. Artemis program is about going back to the moon in a sustainable fashion to stay. And not only will we go back to the moon, what we'll be doing in 2024, in an accelerated timeline, is sending the first woman astronaut to the South Pole, along with the first man. And the Artemis program name is actually pretty appropriate because Apollo, the Apollo missions, that was a Greek god, his twin sister, is Artemis, who is actually the goddess of the moon. We want to actually stay there, build a presence that takes us beyond the moon to deep space locations like Mars and beyond. So Marshall, start off by telling us what we're looking at here. What you're looking at right here is the gateway, which is really a spacecraft that we're going to launch to orbit around the moon and go to different points around the moon. Also, it allows us more importantly, to be able to go to Mars. Mars is really far away. I mean, it's like 140 million miles. Uh, the moon is close. Uh, it's days away. Uh, when we leave to go to Mars, once we leave, we can't come back for two to three years. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure all the systems work. So really what we're doing with Gateway and, and the land and the human landing system and the surface systems will be predecessors to what we would then take to Mars. And of course, the Gateway also allows us to have this jumping off platform where we're able to go to and from Mars uh, without going all the way down in the Earth's gravity well, which costs a lot of fuel to get from the surface of the Earth out to uh, deep space locations such as this halo orbit. So Marshall, all of this is enabled by the fact that this Gateway is going to be constantly orbiting the moon, correct? That's correct, mm -hmm. and allows us to uh, have access to the whole surface of the moon, particularly the South Pole, which is our first uh, interest area that we want to go to because we believe that there are going to be uh, resources such as water ice that we're very interested in. And uh, what that orbit looks like is in a big elliptical orbit that goes uh, close to the South Pole and then way up higher than you can even draw uh, <laughs> <laughs> that allows it to go back down around the poles of the moon. This one is balanced toward the South Pole, mm -hmm. which is where we're interested in going first of all, uh, to look for water ice and other resources that we might find interest. It's a swing by the bottom of the moon. Uh, it allows it to pick up uh, what we call delta V or velocity. It allows it to pick up speed and allows us to stay in this orbit with hardly any expenditure of fuel to keep to maintain the orbit. Got it. So as it follows this path, you're saying it's going to go even faster around here and then slow down around the, the that's, farther that's end correct. of the orbit. And as you were saying, it's going to allow us to be able to explore all of these interesting resources that we think might be on the South Pole. Now on the South Pole, there's actually resources on the North, po North Pole. And one of the reasons we want a spacecraft is because we can actually bias this orbit to the North Pole or the South Pole. So you could take the very tall part and move it down so that we're going close to this North Pole. So oh, we can I actually see. maneuver that so down. So we could Just, make the orbit like that absolutely. if we needed to. Interesting. And how different is this from what we've seen with missions, say, like Apollo? They're setting up the flag now. That's one small step for man. The Apollo missions were actually limited to roughly uh, regions around the equator of the moon, whereas this orbit allows us access to the entire surface of the moon. There you go. Beautiful. So talk to us about the different parts that are on this gateway that enable all of those different things. So the power propulsion element is a system that we're using to uh, test out technology that we need to go to deep space. Basically, think of it like on Star Trek where you have ion propulsion systems and things like that. Space, the final frontier. That's what this is, is solar electric propulsion. Uh, it also pro provides power to the gateway uh, for the whole system, uh, about 60 kilowatts of power. And it generates that power through the use of uh, the solar array wings that you see right across the back of this uh, halo. And then as you look further, the box that you see on top of it, that's the power propulsion element itself. The crew will actually live in this halo compartment here. And you'll also see on the halo, which we call the habitation and logistics outpost, um, that in the halo, you'll see that there are three docking ports on it. There's two on the sides, which you see the logistic system is, a plat is actually right. attached to one side. And then on the bottom is another attachment point, which will where we'll bring the crew in. We have the human landing system, correct? That's correct. So that goes somewhere around here. Tell us about how that works. Yes, yeah, so the human landing system is what we're going to use to ferry crew from the gateway 
down to the surface of the moon and back. So obviously the Gateway is giving us a ton of new exciting capabilities. Is this an open platform or are we going to be the only ones that can use this? No, we're actually designing it to be used by industry as well as our international partners. Uh, what we will be doing is, is saying if you can interface with this docking system or you can interface with or you can support this type of uh, life support systems uh, or you can interface with this power, what that will do is allow people to develop their own systems kind of like you develop something for your computer and you say if I can work with a USB port mm -hmm. and plug it in it will work on any USB port. So we're doing the same thing here. We're saying if you you can follow these standards then you should be able to plug into the gateway and bring your experiments, bring your systems that you want to test to go to deep space and go to Mars and we can use the gateway as a platform to test these things out. Our goal is to go back to the moon not to repeat what we did in Apollo but to go back to deep space to stay. My vision long term is you know 300 years from now that we've populated uh, the universe. We, we started populating our solar system and we, we get go out uh, into deep space to stay working on asteroid belts, working on other other moons, not just our moon, but also uh, going to Mars and beyond. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.